One, who now needs to worry about the consequences of speaking truth to power? Them or us? We didn't want to be here on this dangerous ground. We just wanted to be left alone. But they will not leave us alone. They will not leave us alone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Tharp. As you said, my name is Kit Lang. I'm the intel officer for LFA 3% in Washington State. And six months ago, we were where you guys are now. And we've been there, and we're pushing back now. People like to call what we do rabble-rousing. We call it standing up for liberty. Amen! Amen. Amen. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about a concept that hopefully, if you have the intestinal fortitude for it, you're going to get really familiar with, non-compliance. There was a lot of discussion before this rally about what the applicable laws were for carry and how people should conduct themselves in terms of what and how they carry. State laws and concealed permits and city ordinances were all brought up and debated like they were actually valid. In reality, many people were planning to come and protest an unconstitutional law while complying with a host of other laws just like it. My background check. Are you over 18? Are you American? And are you a Democrat? There's a kick out question. <laughs> We're going to continue in this, we, we can stand and talk all firmer about our gun rights. The Oregon Constitution is actually more firm, more, I, I, I'm using the word stronger is the word I'm trying to say. So, 